Hi and welcome back. In this video, we're going to combine texts coming from multiple cells and bring that into one cell using a delimiter. So basically, you can do that using text joint formula, but to be more dynamic, we will be using the Power Query. So here is our data with uh, employee name and uh, the specific trainings that employee has attended. And this is basically what we need. But there could be other information from the actual data like the dates or remarks but to make it simple we're just presenting the name and then the training so after we process this data the sample report will be like this we have the employee's name and then how many trainings does he or she attended and uh, what particular training the trainings the employee attended so far so let's do this in another worksheet so here, we're going to put this raw data into the Power Query by putting your cell in any of the data and then go to the Data tab. Go to Data tab from Table Range, then check My Table Has Headers, and uh, OK. So we're here now in the Power Query. Rename it and then make a connection for that. So uh, let's put EMP Training as the name and then enter and then go to the home tab close and load to and then only create connection and ok now um, right click this uh, employee training let's adjust it right click that and choose reference and then rename it again as employee trainings and then enter now, the first thing is to use the group by under the home tab. So go to the home tab, group by, then we choose employee name, and then let's say uh, it's temp or temporary instead of the count for the new column name, and then choose all rows, and then OK. So we incorporate here the trainings attended per unique employees. So let's check the table. We wanted to have just the column for trainings attended because we already have the employee's name presented. So uh, add column for that, custom column. And then in this new column, let's call it trainings attended. So we're putting back the trainings attended here. Trainings attended. Now call the temp column. Trainings attended. We call the temp column by putting a square bracket. So square bracket indicates that you are calling a specific column name. And then put temp for that. P E M P. And then close the, close the square bracket, another square bracket for the trainings attended, the one column below, uh, this table below. And then um, close the square bracket after that and OK. So we got the list of trainings attended. So click the double arrow here on the training at trainings attended column. Click that and choose extract values. Then uh, let's choose custom delimiter, custom. And then I will put uh, a semicolon. <clears throat> in a space now a semicolon in a space and then okay. okay now we've already joined together the specific trainings per employee in one cell now add another column custom column again for the count of trainings so rename it as number of trainings number of trainings and then uh, we will going to use the list that count formula so list that count and open parenthesis and then uh, choose the temp column put a square bracket um, and then also the trainings attended column trainings attended close the square bracket and then close parenthesis and uh, okay now we have the number of trainings here arrange it move it here Let's move it here and then we can now delete the temp column just the temp column and then delete it now uh, that's it that's complete let's load it into a table go to the home tab 
close and load to into table new worksheet and OK. Now um, let's check it before we end here. So go to the data sheet and then let's say uh, we add new employee. Let's say it's me, Lynette, and I attended advanced Excel. Enter. I will go to employee training sheet, go to data and refresh all. And now it's been added in the summary. Now let's check it again. Um, let's say I have another training. It's me again, the net. And then let's say my training is the, the budget training. And then enter. Now go to employee training sheet and then refresh all. And you can see here that I have two trainings and the names of those two trainings are posted in one cell. And that's it. I'm finished here. I'm done. If you like this video, you can subscribe in my channel. Click the subscribe button and see you next time and thanks.